Why do we fight? Because we like it. I'm supposed to shout or something here. <laughs> Why don't you join us? Team up. Cause chaos. It is in my opinion that if someone chooses to leave, like actually go to pause, quit game, if someone chooses to do that three times within a certain time period, like 24 hours or something like that, I think that the uh, ability to quit the game should be disabled. I mean, if you want to turn your Xbox off, then you do that. But to actually go to quit game in the middle of it, regardless of the lever penalty or not, I feel like there's something needs to be done about that. I am the recharger. Now, don't get me wrong. I've had matches where I either pops off with a shadow strike, because why not? I've had matches where I either will I'll lag out or because of something with Bleeding Edge itself, like uh, Unreal Engine will have like a glitch and the game will just completely crash. I've had those instances before. So I do understand that people don't just sometimes leave in the middle of it. But for the people that choose to leave, there has to be some type of consequence, man. Because you can't just <clears throat> leave in the middle of the match because you don't feel like your team's going to be able to pull it together. I've seen people, come on man, you leave a match, I'm commentating that match, someone else comes into that match, and then that team miraculously just wins. So it's like, who was the problem on that team? Was it everyone else or was it you? Because you chose to leave, man. But it is what it is. The nature of Bleeding Edge, being a team PvP game, gets a little bit on that level of toxic. So you're going to have people leaving mid-game like that. But, like I said, you know, not everyone does that, so. I'm gonna retrieve these matches. I have not been here in a while. Hydro Core. Hydro Core was my. F no, 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 no. Not Hydro Core. It's uh, Aqueducts, I believe. Aqueducts was my favorite map on here. But, we haven't seen some Aqueducts in a while. And we are going with. Ah, Nicholas Lemur. You were just playing as Cool Love a little while ago. On the blue team, Nicholas Lemur probably is cool off. Nope, someone else chose it. As well as Gaming Nick, Scott Lee, and Kenyon War. On the red team, we have Y Man 3000, T Halsey. I think I've seen you. And I'm Siza, Souza, Siza. Yeah, I'm Siza. As well as Devilish Eights. All right, we're about to get this match jumping. Definitely hope everyone's enjoying this Sunday. Hope everything is going all good with everybody. Okay, cool. The match is just starting. The game is afoot, and we are going to start off sticking to k Nar rolling around as cool off. I'm going to be real. I'm still very disappointed that cool off skins were not, they weren't even the coolest, man. Kulov, yo, he has a snake for a body. You could have thought of something crazy oh, sick to do. But regardless, Kulov, Kainar, he's about to get 1v1 going up against Miko. However, he's right next to Mecho. Mecho's probably going to get him. Mecho's watching him get in his ass switch. He's going to choose to jump in late, but it's all good. These two are going to do some damage. Both of these are doing fire damage. He's going to give Mecho a shield, like he should. I hate Kulov players that don't do that. Devil's 8 now has to run. He was just doing fine a little while ago, however. T. Halsey rolling around his Gizmo. Gizmo is dead. However, there's a Mave on the other side. And he's trying to siphon the hell out of Kanar. We are going to hit 3 mode just to see how every, everything is going on right now. God lead. He's very, very low on health. Blue team, however, they are going to be able to hold it together. God is going to have to run away and get some health on his own. However, Godly, Godly, he's very, very low. He's very, very low. And blue team manages to get the white. Okay, so Godly's probably gonna go off and get some help, but he's probably about to get, he's probably about to get killed. Yeah, T. Halsey came out of nowhere and got that kill. Devilish, as well as T. Halsey, choosing to team up on Gaming Nix. Gaming Nix is gonna pin T. Halsey to the wall. And Gaming Nix is literally by himself right now. He's gonna have to get it out of there. Okay, team back up here. Don't just take all that damage. Nicholas Lima was playing as Kulov before, but now he's playing as an Echo. 
T Halsey chooses to actually try to get with sorry, Wyman 3000 chose to actually snatch that gizmo, but he got stuck on the wall there. There's so much shit going on. Both teams are actually sticking together, which I really, really like right now. There's no 1v3s or 1v1s going on elsewhere, somewhere else, and some shit like that. Godly, rolling around as Gizmo. He's looking very, very low on health. I have a feeling that he's going to have to take that L. Yeah, Gizmo's not going to be able to do nothing about that, dude. However, objective C. Blue team is stuck inside of the cage. And red team is going to actually choose to group up and take out B to themselves. Not bad so far right now. Both teams are actually sticking together, which I really, really like, like I said. However, I have a feeling that blue team is going to run up on red team. Yeah, 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 red team, however, looking really, really tight. They have a mecha on their team. White Man 3000, as well as T Hall is doing as much damage as he can. Oh my god, Kulov is getting handed right now. Kanar, choosing to actually run as much as he possibly can. Is he next to his? No, no he's not next to his spawn. But his ultimate is out, and yes, Kulov was about to die, but luckily he got with his team just at the right time. There's a gizmo in a bubble right now, T Halsey, number 7, gets snatched back into the place where he needs to be. He's gonna try to hit a get Damon, Jesus Christ, Kulov as much as he possibly can, but he's doing a lot of damage, he's about to sell really. he tries to pop the ult, but the animation would not let him complete that. Ladies and gentlemen, we are still on 161 to 125. What? Ah, let's play some bets here. Not some bets, but you know. Who can win this? Who can win this? Ah. Honestly, I think blue teams got this. Not because of the score that they have right now, but I have a feeling blue teams got this. Granted, red team has a Mave and a Gizmo on that team, but that doesn't mean anything. Yep, Mave on the red team just died. Blue team, holding it down at C. Makatu, doing so many combos right now. Getting pushed in the rank. Oh my god, yo, this cage is making it crazy, dude. Yo, that cage modifier was crazy. Yo, he did the full 360 push on that man. Wow. Dash Canadian mass. Top tier. I think I've I mean I wanna say I've heard of B guys. I've seen a lot of names on here. And it's crazy remembering so many Xbox gamer tags. <laughs> okay, so no one is on B or C right now. Kanar, he's about to try to go to touch C by himself, but he's about to get chased by Gizmo. T Halsey. Chooses to give him the curse. However, he's about to get put into a cage. Yep. And he gets his life siphon. There was nothing he could do about that. Luckily, the objective disappeared. It's 247 to 281. It's a fairly decent match right now. Switching back over to the maid. I'm Sai. I'm Saiza? I had your name right first. Oh, I had it right the first time. <clears throat> Red team looking to stick together and go up against Nicholas Lima. Nicholas Lima about to take all that damage. However, there's a Makatu that came in and started swinging hard. Jamie Nix, he's by himself. He gets white. However, all right. I mean, hey, I said blue team, but red team's doing that work. Speaking of. Who's this? Why Man 3000? Played as Nico or Mecha. Blue Team's cool off is looking very, very low on health. He's taking so much shots right now, it's not even crazy. However, who's shooting at this Mecha? Gizmo. God leaves. He's totally by himself. That's not gonna work, man. I mean, I feel you on that, but that was not gonna work. I hear another Gizmo getting tagged up over there. Chooses to get T Halsey out of there because I heard her getting hit just now. Cage is activated and those guys are stuck in there. They're not going to have any choice to deal with that. We back out to see exactly what's going on. Okay, red team looking real solid still. T Halsey, he's got to go and get that health. He's still standing over here at the objective. Nicholas is being put inside of the cage. 
T Hulk is gonna pop his ult and he's gonna try to get as much damage as he possibly can. Kanar, Kulov, looking real, real low on health. Kulov gets jumped and Nicholas Lima is gonna get put into a cage as well. This is a fair fight going on right now, however. Wow, this ults. Is he gonna 1v1 Nicholas? Nicholas Lima looking to 1v1. Nope, he's getting chased. He's going for those objectives. However, over here, T Halsey, low in health as well as Gaming Nix. Gaming Nix, however, he's dead as well as Gaming Lee. Godly. So many names to keep track of. But I love doing this shit, I swear to God. Alright, so, objectives are up, and no one's able to get C right now because of the modifiers. Is B over yet? We're gonna look down the tip on B, and Nicholas Lima is totally not by himself, but he's about to get worked as if he was by himself. Red team shutting it down right now. Kulov is gonna have to run, dude. There's nothing he can do about this situation. Like I said before, Red team. Kulov is dead. Gimme Nick's over by himself. T Halsey sticking right next to Necro the way he should. Both B and C are being held. Who's tapping on top of C? Oh, we got a 1v1 over here. Devilish. Godly. 1v1. Yo, is he hitting them through the- No, they're both in the cage. I was like, yo, that's crazy. Godly is in the cage, yo. There's nothing he can do. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, but the cage modifiers make it so funny. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway, Gaming Nix is over here by himself. Granted, he has a cool off running up next to him. However, Gaming Nix chose to actually leave that situation. Red team looking real hot right now. 500 to 300. What could blue team do to actually navigate this situation right now? I want to say maybe Kanar, Kane War, yeah, maybe Kane War can actually switch to zero. Maybe, maybe that would be a different decision. However, why man 300 on the red team? He was very low on health. He had to put a shield on top of himself. Devilish eight, about to get wiped, and that's a dead Nico I've ever seen one, dude. What is going on everywhere? Back here on the B objective, red team is definitely going for those objectives. I'm Caesar. He dodges Makachu. He's gonna give him the life cycle. Makachu chooses to go invulnerable. Gets put into a bubble. Godly is gonna try to follow up and do as much damage to Y Man 3000 as he possibly can. Makachu still in a bubble. Gets put out. Gaming Nix. He's gonna come over here to probably throw down at B. Kane War playing as Gulag just got wiped. And man, this is about to be a lot of fight going on over here. B is the main objective, but. What do you got? Devilish is over here swinging around his Makatu. Here go. Gaming Nyx! This is about to be a dead Makatu. It was not his fault. And Miko did the grab and said, get back over here, Devilish. We got so much work to do right now. Granted, it's only like 40 more points to get, but... Let's get, get back over to our main character here. Y-Man 3000. Going with the... Uh, is that Coral? It's either coral or starfish. I can't remember the color. I can't remember the name of the color scheme itself. But uh, no one's been rolling around with the rust. Everyone's got the mech, the uh, Gundam mech style Miko. So that's pretty cool itself. I have a feeling that this is going to be it. Objectives are about to be up in... Nope, objectives are up. The plates are about to be up in 3, 2, 1. Gizmo on the blue team is dead, and man, red team no is so more. done right now. Seals no more. Not done meaning done, but red team is so done with this game. Gaming Nyx chooses to X and switch over to Cass. Uh, who was he playing as before? Guys. It was Mecho, right? I don't know. Ah, I can't remember. But you definitely weren't playing as Cass just now, I can tell you that right now. Kane Wolf was playing as Kulov, he gets wiped. Like and I have a feeling that Red Team is going to stay here and do a little bit of a dance. Someone's going to pop their ult and get a second here. No need. Red Team completely took that game by themselves. Whew, I wouldn't say, uh, there's a few MVPs here, but this wasn't like a crazy exciting match. T. Halsey, however, 16 and 4 on the red team doing 15,000 damage with 340 on the objective score. However, Kane War was doing the most healing, 
not saying that Kane War wasn't doing anything, but it felt like they would need like a little bit more of a healer. I can honestly admit, being cool off sometimes, it feels like it's not enough. It really does. I'm not sure what mod selection he had, but it feels like it's not enough sometimes. G, 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 all around. Hmm. How long has it been going down as? Yeah, so only about an hour or so. An hour of watching nothing but these matches go on. Like I said, y'all used to play this like two to three hours and... Like, that's the reason why I got tired of just showing only the stuff that happens with me. Because there are other times when players do some crazy stuff. Oh, man, there's 665, but I really want to go to... I mean, there's 665, but I really want to go to Aqueducts. I really, really do. Is there anyone here that we recognize? Mm. Dayu Isis, we just saw him. Face the move, we just saw him, as well as Carpe Diem. Alright, so we kind of just saw these guys. Let's give someone else a chance. Yeah, 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 yeah. Blue team, we have RGP Player XBR, as well as Dread Squid. I think I just saw you. Mr. Two Gamer, as well as Ocean Man. I think I've seen you too. On the red team, we have Hyena Pansy, MF Gonzalez, Zando Obrebio, and Lucia Smo. Lucia Smo? Lucia Smo? Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll just go with that. <laughs> 